F1 is uh, some people they see us drive and they think it's pretty easy, but uh, driving an F1 car is, is really tough. <laughs> So then normally what we do is uh, around Christmas and New Year's I uh, get some time off uh, I can sort of switch off the racing and just relax uh, but then yeah now in January we've been working really hard to to get uh, you know really prepared for the season and get more uh, fit than I've uh, been before so we've been working hard and I think for us to come here to Tanyapura is it's, it's a perfect uh, place for us to do that uh, we can do a lot of hours training, uh, both on the bike, running, uh, in the gym, uh, and in different classes. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, it's, it's been working it's the third year in a row. We've done it uh, before the season starts. So so far it's been very good, and uh, yeah, it's, it's working well. It's, it's important for Marcus to uh, to never settle in it's it's important for him to always have new stuff that he needs to adapt to and try to figure out it's very so he, he uses um, his brain at the same time as his his heart is working you know so we always try to to come up with new stuff for him to do it's never like a, a set uh, schedule we it's always new. Uh, well we we do a lot of sports specific training like that or mental training if you want to call it like that yes. and it's uh, it's the most important thing is we try to be as uh, efficient as possible to, to waste as little energy as possible the whole time um, so he can stay fit and sharp for the whole race um, and with that we do like I said with balance and coordination multitasking skills like that it, we always throw that into the training a lot of balance and so he needs to use his brain the whole time I think yeah, mainly the, the g-forces they were driving at uh, them speeds uh, and them cornering speeds it puts a lot of g-force on the body for the neck for the core shoulders uh, which makes makes you know your heart uh, heart rate go up and you know our race is up to two hours and we have a uh, uh, yeah like 80 percent heart rate for almost two hours and uh, because of that you need to be really fit and and also you know towards the end of a race the guy who is uh, in a better fitness level he will have an advantage to the guys who who is struggling more and more tired uh, because then you lose more concentration and it's easier to make mistakes so I think you know the the physical side is uh, is extremely important so that's why we try and always you know improve and always uh, take steps forwards for me to, to become a better race driver.